brain. The only thing they talked about was how the application might bring harm. I don't think this is a mutually exclusive point. I think once the discovery has been made, public are capable of using that information and then making a moral just, uh, judgment of how legally these things should be regulated. We think a group of scientists in the board meeting deciding what is ethical and unethical is very biased. It creates extreme harm by like disrupting the disco potential discoveries that may be able to help humanity in the long term. Two points. Uh, in my speech. One, who defines ethics and is that justifiable? Secondly, even if the argument on ethics stands in some cases, is it more important than the potential, than the potential discovery? Firstly, on who defines ethics? Our Prime Minister gave you a very detailed analysis on who these people are. They talked about how like the public can ju make some judgments and so forth, but note that the consensus here is that the people who define what ethics is for scientists is cr like created by rich white men in American universities who are usually coming from Christian backgrounds and have political ties with the government. This is the context that they need to contend to. They need to justify the type of ethical standards that are being created does not affect public opinion, it does not affect universal values, and ethics itself is something that changes over time. Right? We give you an example of Copernicus. Imagine how his discoveries would have been if he wasn't allowed to make those discoveries in the first place by the church. Right? The reason why we have things like airspace technologies and so, like detecting technologies and so forth come from the fact that he didn't go like uh, he went against the social norm of ethics. We see the problem here. It, there's a couple of problems with their response. They talked about how the public can make. Um, informed judgments. Our response to that is yes, the public can mis make judgments after they make the discovery. In the status quo, we already told you that think, media or politicians have very little incentive to cover potential discoveries. Right? You don't see on the news the ongoing researches of Ebola and Kyoto University. Those things come out when the discovery has been made. There is no, there is going to be no public discourse. There's not going to be any demands for these kind of researches because the public don't know about the existence of these researchers. I think this is extremely harmful in terms of not having social discourses on ethics at all, it, which means that their standpoint on like public ethics being like applied to the science sphere isn't going to happen in their side of the house anyways. But secondly, we told you that the public has the right to make informed choices. The comparison here is this. Do you think the people who have religious values or those kind of values should be prioritized than the public's values, right? I think a lot of ethics or ethical standards being created by Christian guys in universities is very harmful because the public has a different type of ethical values, right? They recognize that when your family is having cancer, I don't think they're going to care about ethics as much as people in universities. They're not going to care the type of animal experience that has been done. These are the things that we think is important because it can like give the people what they need in terms of improving medical conditions and so on, but you seem to disagree. Why can people suddenly dismiss the, the general public ethics just because it benefits? I just think that the general public ethics isn't being applied in the status quo for in the science committee, right? I think discovery itself can have shift like na changes in narratives as well when people recognize the benefits that science can bring to them. No And we think that is very harmful. But let's moving on to my second point. Even if you you believe that to some extent ethics can be important, we still think we take took a utilitarian view on which side is beneficial for more people. Note that ethics is oftentimes a very liberal value created in developed countries. Right? I think in comparison to people in developed countries feeling good about their morality, the fact that we might be able to solve the crisis of Ebola, being able to save people, being able to give more food to children by things like its genetic modification of the food chain, is much, much, much more important in comparison to any impacts that come from them. Note that I think the failure from side opposition is very clear because they gave us very limited impacts, negative impacts that come from scientists actually like using their own 
judgment and like going for discoveries, right? I think that all of their examples, such as like the cloning, for example, firstly, we don't think that cloning in and of itself is bad. If cloning can result in things like a, like a, a better universe for everyone, for like example, like mitigating harms of labor and farming or so forth, we don't see a harm for that. I think they have a very biased view on what ethics is, but I don't think that is really matching the reality. I think when people recognize that, oh, because there's clones, because there's like robot version of humans, we, we can gain extreme amounts of benefits, then the narrative of ethics itself is going to change. They're pre preventing the discourse on ethics, and we think that's very problematic because one, it's like it's counterproductive in terms of ethical discourse, but secondly, it prevents people from recognizing like um, the benefits that can come from science. Okay, lastly, so I think that, oh yeah, secondly, so even in the case where clone technology is very harmful, we think just by this covering that clones can be made, in and of itself is not harmful at all. If you start making clones, and if it, start, if it ends up being very, very harmful, then the government would probably regulate it. People would vote in election, in election and, tell, and regulate those things just like we regulate other things and other crimes, right? I think in that kind of context, the harm that can come from the discovery itself can be mit very mitigated by the public. The example of things like the atomic bomb, for example, is it's relevant in this kind of context, specifically because the ethicality did not matter. The atomic bomb came from like the pursuit of cleaner technology or those kind of things. We don't think the outcome of the science, being good or bad, is contingent about the ethicality of the way in which it was discovered. I, we, in our side of the house, we think we can prioritize those who are most vulnerable in society, those who need science the most. We can give an option to the public to decide how they want to interact with ethics and utility. In our side of the house, we save more people, we have more discourses, we think science is 